Another copper who lives their lives following the code of honesty and integrity now as we nip on over to North Yorkshire Police and meet 44-year-old Yvonne Webb, a member of police staff. Now, considering some of the offences people who work for the police commit, this has to be one from the lower end of the spectrum. But what concerns me is the sentence Yvonne's been given compared to others dished out punishments for more serious offences. For example, Joe Taylor, a police dispatcher for Greater Manchester Police, was given a conditional discharge and ordered to pay £500 cost for sexual assault by cupping a man's crown jewels in his hands whilst on a night out. Between October and December 2020, Yvonne Webb forged the grades on another woman's certificates for employment purposes using editing software. So basically, she did what most of us do, which is to exaggerate our own grades, but she went a step further and created forged documents for someone else for the purposes of making her look better than she was. Webb claims that the original documents had been lost and then replaced them with the copies with the bullshit grades. She had been suspended from the force since uh, she was arrested last October and she resigned when she gave her plea of guilty under the Forgery and Counterfeiting Act 1981. Yvonne was fined £2,000 in order to pay £190 statutory surcharge and £85 prosecution costs. A North Yorkshire Police spokesperson said, we expect the highest standards of all staff and officers and Webb's actions fall well below those standards. Webb played a key role in defrauding an organisation by creating fake certificates when new copies could have been obtained legitimately. Not only that, but she falsely listed the individual's exam results as higher than they actually were, further misleading their employer. Her fine reflects the severity of the offence. So a, crew, a two grand fine for inflating somebody's grades, not exactly crime of the century, and of course we do expect all our police and police staff to act with complete integrity and honesty, but my point here is that when you have a sexual deviant touching up other men who is ordered to pay just £500 in costs and yet a little bit of photoshopping gets you a two grand fine, clearly this is to encourage people to commit the more serious offences for want of a lighter sentence. It is utter madness.